Welcome back. In this video, I'll be looking at 1.2 measuring correlation. 1.2 represents chapter 1, section 2 of the Pearson A-Level Maths Applied Maths Year 2 textbook. I'm going to start off this teaching video by explaining what the product moment correlation coefficient is. R is the product moment correlation coefficient, in shorthand PMCC. R measures the correlation between two variables. R is between minus 1 and 1 inclusive. I've got some coordinate grids up on the board and I've got some values for R over here. For each of these coordinate grids, I'm going to assign the correct R value. Let's start off with the first coordinate grid. We have a straight line with positive gradient. The points are on the line. For this particular coordinate grid, I'm going to assign the value R is equal to 1. Over here, we have a perfect positive correlation. Let's have a look at this coordinate grid. We have a straight line with positive gradient. The points are quite close to the straight line. For this particular coordinate grid, I'm going to assign the value r is equal to 0.4. We have a weak positive correlation. This coordinate grid over here. Straight line with positive gradient. The points are really close to the straight line. So for this particular scenario, I'm going to assign the value r is equal to 0.9. Over here, we have a strong positive correlation. Let's have a look at this coordinate grid. Straight line with negative gradient. The points are on the line. In this particular scenario, I'm going to assign the value R is equal to negative 1. We have a perfect negative correlation in this particular case. This one here. Straight line with negative gradient. The points are quite close to the straight line. For this coordinate grid, I'm going to assign the value r is equal to negative 0.4. We have a weak negative correlation. This coordinate grid, there's a straight line with a negative gradient. The points are really close to the straight line. So in this scenario, I'm going to assign the value r is equal to negative 0.9. We have a strong negative correlation. Have a look at this coordinate grid, ladies and gents. Between y and x, we have no correlation. So in this particular case, we have r is equal to 0. In other words, no correlation or zero correlation. Here is an exam style question. From the large data set, the daily mean air temperature T degrees Celsius and the rainfall F millimeter were recorded for Perth on seven consecutive days in August 2015. We are given a table consisting of temperature T rainfall f part a calculate the product moment correlation coefficient for these data part b with reference to your answer to part a comment on the suitability of a linear regression model for these data let's have a look at part a to calculate the product moment correlation coefficient in other words the r value for our bivariate data we need to use the class with calculator the first step is to press menu, then you go down to statistics, which is number 6, you press equal. Then you press 2, which is y equal a plus bx. We have a bivariate data consisting of two variables, t, which represents the x, f, which represents the y. So I press 2, I'm then given a table of x and y. I need to input my x values and input my y values. The x column represents the first row, which is t. So now I'm going to input my t values. I've got 18 equal 16.4 equal 15.3 equal 15 equal 13.7 equal 10.2 equal and finally, 12 equal. Now I press right and I go to the top of the Y column. The next step is to input the Y values, which represent the F values. So I've got 3 equal 13 equal 4.6 equal 32 equal 28 equal 63 equal and finally 22 
equal. Now I press option, then I go to number four, which is regression calculation. So if I press four, this is what I get. I've got my A value, B value, and my R value. In general, you should round your R value to four decimal places. So if I round to four decimal places, I get R is equal to minus 0 0.8326. Moving on to part B. With reference to your answer to part A, comment on the suitability of a linear regression model for these data. For the first mark, I would write R is close to negative 1, so we have a strong and negative correlation. For the second mark, I can then conclude that it is suitable to use a linear regression model for this particular bivariate data. Here is another exam style question. From the large data set, the daily total rainfall, x millimeter, and the daily total sunshine, y hours, were recorded for Cambon on seven consecutive days in May 2015. We are given a table consisting of rainfall, x, sunshine, y. Part A, state the meaning of TR in the table above. Part B, calculate the product moment correlation coefficient for these seven days, stating clearly how you deal with the entries marked TR. Part C, with reference to your answer to part B, comment on the suitability of a linear regression model for these data. Let's have a look at part A. How would you get the one mark? Well, you would just write, TR is interpreted as trace, which means a small amount. Part B, we want to calculate the R value, stating clearly how we deal with the entries marked TR. Right, first of all, for the one mark, you would write, take TR to be zero, because TR represents a small amount. For the second mark, you need to calculate the R value using the ClassWiz calculator. First step is to press menu, then you go down to 6, which is statistics, you press equal. Then you press number 2, which is y equal a plus bx. You are then given a table consisting of x and y. The x represents the first row, which is rainfall. You input your rainfall values. So I've got 2.2 .2 equal. TR, I take it to be 0, equal 1.4 equal. 4.4 equal, again TR is taken to be 0, equal 0 0.2 equal 0 0.6 equal. Now we press right and we go to the top of the Y column. The Y represents the second row, which is sunshine. So now I input the sunshine values. I've got 5.2 equal 7.7 .7 equal 5.6 equal 0 0.3 equal 5.1 equal 0 0.1 equal and finally 8.9 equal. Now I press option and then I press 4 which is regression calculation. I've got my A value, B value, and R value. In general, you would round the R value to four decimal places. So in this case, we get minus 0 0.4731. Moving on to part C. With reference to your answer to part B, comment on the suitability of a linear regression model for these data. There are two marks available. For the first mark, you would write, R is not close to minus one. Hence, there is a weak negative correlation. For the second mark, you would conclude that a linear regression model will not be suitable for this particular data. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.